Hello and welcome to this episode of Programming and Algorithms. In this episode we're going to look at the idea of top-down design. Top-down desi design is the approach we're going to use for designing our software. It's exactly what the name suggests. We start at the top and break our way down. So we start, what's this program going to do? It's going to calculate interest. How will we calculate interest? What bits do we need to do? Then for each bit we need to do, how do we implement that in a programming language? So we might also use the term stepwise refinement for um, top-down design or sometimes modular decomposition might be a term that's acceptable as well. The goal really is, as I said, start at the top, the, the overall view, and then break it down into sub-steps and break those sub-steps down into further sub-steps. So if we think about making a cup of tea, for example, how do you make a cup of tea? So let's think about if a space alien came down and we said to the space alien, dude, can you make me a cup of tea? And the space alien said, I don't know what that means. You need to tell me in more detail how to make a cup of tea. What would we say to the space alien to instruct them how to make a cup of tea? So I guess what we'd say first is we tell the alien, just get all the pieces you need. Get the milk, the cups, the sugar, the kettle, whatever. Next, we might tell the space alien to plug in the kettle. Next, we might say, put a tea bag in the cup. Next, we might say to put some water in the kettle. Then we might say to turn on the kettle. Then we'll, we'll tell them, the space alien, to wait for the kettle to boil. Then we'll take that boiling water and add it into the cup that has the tea bag already in it. Then we'll take the tea bag out with a spoon, or if we can't find a spoon, we might use a fork. We might add milk and sugar if required, and finally, we'll serve that cup of tea. So if our space alien has sufficient knowledge to understand each of those steps, then we've given them instructions sufficiently detailed for them. Unfortunately, some space aliens might not know precisely what we mean by some of those steps. And I think particularly the first step, organizing everything together, is a little bit ambiguous or it's hard to know what it might mean. So we might, if, that's, if level one is make a cup of tea and this is level two we're looking at, we might look at each of those steps and see if we can break down those steps into further sub-steps. So let's say for organize everything together, we might break down step one into 1.1, get a cup, 1.2, get tea bags, 1.3, get sugar, 1.4, get milk, and 1.5, get a spoon or a fork. So this is exactly what we do when we're programming. We decide an overall goal, we figure out what the main things we need to do to achieve that goal are, and then we break down each sub bit until we understand how we program that. The next step is plug in the kettle. We might need to tell the space alien, or the computer for that matter. To plug in a kettle, you need to do two things. You need to find the power supply and the um, cat plug for the kettle, and then you need to insert the plug into the power supply. Um, for putting the tea bag in the cup, it could be to take the tea bag out of the box and put it in the cup. For put the water in the kettle, that's a surprisingly complicated thing to do. It's to bring the kettle to the tap, it's to put the kettle under the, the spout of the tap, turn on the tap, wait for the kettle to be full, which is a complicated enough thing to explain, and then turn off the tap. The next step to turn on the kettle is a simple one. It's just to push the button on the kettle or to press switch on kettle. So we understand when we're writing a program, we start with the overall view. What's this about? Then we say, well, to do that, we need to do these four or five things. Then for each of those four or five things, how do we break those down into instructions? And we might even have to break those further steps down into more sub-steps and more sub-steps until we get down to commands that the computer can understand. So that's how often we refine our design. We keep on going until we've got a set of steps that we can explain or use with the computer, if that makes sense. So I've done the first five sub-steps of making a cup of tea. Over to you for the other five sub-steps. So what I'd like you to do for fun is look at steps 6 to 10 and see how many sub-steps you can break that down into. Thanks very much for your attention. We'll see you on the next episode.